Okay, I got a stinker for you today. Um, I came up with this one years ago, back when I um, I used to smoke. Uh, something something I used to do back when I smoked. Uh, something smokers do is uh, is they take their. Uh, uh, if I have a visual aid here, I'll take take this your pen. You know, you take take your cigarette and you uh, tamp it first before you put it in your mouth right and uh, I don't know why you do that that's just just what you do you know you, you take you take your cigarette and you tamp it first and for some reason in the late 90s I'd, I'd get in the habit of taking the whole pack of cigarettes because I saw a friend doing that when I was younger would get a fresh pack of cigarettes and would tamp the whole pack of cigarettes so that's what I'd start doing. I don't know why I do that. That's just what you do. You know, you take this pack of cigarettes and you tamp it. So, grab the whole pack of cigarettes and you know, slam it on the counter four or five times. And uh, a friend of mine noticed uh, I had to tamp my cigarettes because because my cigarettes would be properly tamped. So, uh, I don't know what that did for the cigarette, but anyway, uh, uh, it just uh, hit hit me, you know. It was just uh, uh, sketch sketch about a, a young man and a young lady sitting in an outdoor cafe, drinking coffee and having a discussion of maybe something they had seen at a local museum. And as they're talking about it, the man pulls out a cigarette and he starts tamping it on the table. And then he puts it in his mouth, but then he doesn't light it. He just, he's like, mm -hmm. you know, he's, he's not satisfied with how tamped it is. And they're continuing to have a conversation and he starts tamping it some more as they're continuing to talk. And... They're just, you know, having an intelligent conversation about what they've had, had seen at the museum, but he keeps tamping the cigarette even harder and harder until he's holding the cigarette in a, in a fist and slamming his fist with the cigarette in it down on the table as, as they're talking about what they saw at the museum. And he tries the cigarette, and he's still not satisfied with how tamped it is, so... He takes a plumber's wrench, puts the cigarette in the plumber's wrench, and pulls out an anvil and starts slamming it in, in, into the and slamming the plumber's wrench with the cigarette in it against the anvil. And they're still talking about. It, and he eventually needs some more tools. He eventually walks away. You know, he has, goes so far away, and he gets tools, and they need to shout. He and he he needs he eventually gets to where he needs a steam hammer. He has to put the cigarette into a steam hammer, and he and his girlfriend are screaming at the top of their lungs trying to have an intelligent conversation about whatever it was they saw at the museum while he's using a steam hammer to tamp his cigarette. And uh, that's pretty much all I have to go on. It's, you know, it's it just builds up to that, and then... After he's through with the steam hammer, then he lights up his cigarette, and uh, I, I haven't come up with any other visual aids, like whether or not he's the cigarettes tamped maybe five centimeters, or if it's tamped all the way down to the butt or something. But that's that, that's how I've got that one figured out. And I might be able to come up with a better title for it and anyway I'm absolutely out and peace out